And a community is on edge after a man shoots at two would-be burglars, burglars in the Fort Sanders neighborhood. Knoxville police saying he fired at least two shots in self-defense. That area not far from the University of Tennessee's campus. The community there, mostly made up of students and families, is considered active and pretty tight-knit. 600 Side reporter Jordan Brown went back to the neighborhood to see how the community is reacting. An attempted robbery and shooting, leaving residents shaken. The incident happening just feet away from their homes. It's scary. I mean, like, you definitely want to be on higher alert um, when you're walking around now. Residents tell me they were shocked to hear this happened right in their backyards. Yeah, I'm very surprised. You, you know, generally, like, nothing really bad happens around here, mainly because just there's so many people around here. There's, it's just so active. So you never have to worry about that. Others say this kind of thing is typical for this neighborhood. Every now and then you hear about something going on in the fort and you have to remind yourself that it is not as safe as you think it is. This community now taking extra caution, reminded that you can never be too careful. It does make me nervous, but like I said, it's I've lived here for three years now and this is probably the most serious incident that has ever happened. I just say just, you know, always be alert, you know, it could be the safest place in the world, you know, and you just never know when something bad's going to happen. For Good Morning Tennessee, Jordan Brown, WATE6, on your side. All right, Jordan, thank you. Meanwhile, KPD says a 27-year-old man matching the description of one of the would-be burglars arrived at an area hospital with at least two gunshot wounds. Police adding it's unknown if the two incidents are connected right now, but his injuries are not believed to be life-threatening.